The country director for the African Network Against Extrajudicial Killings and Enforced Disappearances, Anaket, has blamed the former lead counsel of the TRRC, Esam Baifal, for playing a part in Sanisabali's amnesty recommendations. Sira Wali now is with the opinion that a state was set by Esam Baifal to romanticize and turn Sanisabali into a hero. Mafujisi reports. The Standard Newspaper's lead story on Friday generated debate from Gambians in all walks of life, most of whom criticized the TRRC for approving the recommendation of its amnesty committee and recommending clemency for former AFPRC Vice Chairman Sana Sawali, who admitted responsibility for the killing of about a dozen soldiers in 1994. Aniket's country director is the latest to join the discussion. For Madame Dow, Sana Sabole should be treated like any other witness because in as much as his rights were violated, he also violated the rights of others. I really put this to the manner in which the Sana Sabole testimony was presented. Sana Sabole was romanticized because he went through sexual and gender-based violation in his testimony. The, the testimony focused on the violations that, he was, that was committed against him and not the violations that he committed so heartlessly, so brutally, without remorse, without apology. So I think that the, this stage was set by the lead council at that time to really romanticize and turn Sana Sabali into a hero. And we saw in the social media and everywhere else how Sana Sabali was being hailed for what he went through, when so many others went through the same thing or even worse. That is wrong. And I think the commissions really should reconsider their, themselves and what they have put us, what they are putting us through by making this recommendation. I don't believe it can be revoked, but really, this has put a, a dark spot on the good work that the commissioners have done for this country. And I really, really, I am sh ashamed that this has happened. Madam Dow says the amnesty recommendations for Sana Sabali have put a dark spot on the good work of the Truth Commission. She claimed that the Adam led administration has failed in its responsibility to take care of the victims and victim participation. It could be recalled that the former strongman of the Armed Forces Professional Ruling Council is accused of participating in the extrajudicial killings of the ring leaders of the 1994 alleged coup at the Brikama Forest. Appearing before the Truth Commission, Mr. Sabali made chilling revelations of the whole scenario moving the tiny West African nation into shock. Testifying on the torture meted out on him at the state central prison, Mile 2, the stubborn twin was able to drive the nation into tears for the bravery to persevere the most brutal torture. Meanwhile, in justifying its approval of amnesty for Sabali, the TRRC Amnesty Committee report stated that he, Sana Sabali, has already served time in prison for false crimes level against him, gave a full disclosure during public hearings, so remorse initiated and participated in reconciliations with perpetrators and that his crimes precede the Chrome statue and cannot be applied retroactively. The report therefore recommended that the former vice head of state do community service instead. Reporting for iAfrica, I am Mafuji Sise.